Davis, welcome to the latest episode of Cut to the Chase. Let's do it. Today we're talking bridging the gap when all seems lost between sellers and buyers. Gosh, have we been there before? Have we? Well, it doesn't matter what the market's doing, Diego. Quite often there's a gap, right? Buyers' expectations are always on the up. And, you know, it's, you know, sellers, there's always a bit of a gap and how do you bridge it? You learn that by making a lot, a lot of mistakes. The biggest thing that I've learned is the priming position, which a lot of people forget about. And the priming position is this. In my early days in negotiate, I concentrated on the money. You know, it's only 10 grand, da, 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 da. And people dig their toes in. The priming position, as we know with any negotiation, is to get them saying yes. Diego, you've turned up today because you want to buy the house. I can see you living in the house and they've accepted your variation around deposit, around settlement. It's priming them going, yes, yes, yes. So then they realize the reason why they're buying the property is more important than the money they're having to pay just that discretionary dollar. So a very wise man, Peter Walker, uh, taught it to me a while ago. The priming positions everything and then go and close the gap. What do you find? Well, I've got a I've got to say within my team that when you get close enough that it's your commission worth between the buyer and the vendor, well, you got to close the deals, right? And look, I'm not talking here commission reduction because how you do we don't like that. We absolutely do not like that, but we have used it, you know. And not maybe in this market 17, 18 was a different situation. But yes. anyway, we are not talking about commission reduction here. We're trying to give you some tips, right? My biggest tip, it's always the same to my team. It's we gotta keep the buyer and the vendor liking each other. Because yeah. the moment they dig that the 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 sort of the eels in terms of oh no, they, they don't want to move because you know, like the moment they sort of go head to head, that's the end of the deal. So Michael, and you gotta be genuine here, right, Davis? You can't come up with porky pies, but you know, like it's important that the vendor understand that if the buyer is borrowing some money from family and friends, make them understand that they have got to the maximum of the pre-approval. The bank are saying no. Anything over and above there, it's credit card, it's Uncle Joe or Auntie Sue. And you know, it might only be five thousand. Yeah, we'll sell a lead. But you know, it might only be five thousand increase, but that five thousand dollar took a lot of time and then it's not a lot of energy to get, right? Because it's not easy to get money from family and friends. Because I'll say no if you ask me, I'll tell you that much. But jokes apart, keep the buyer and the vendor like they are still liking each other because it's very tense, right? Especially in the last one percent, and it can easily crumble up the moment that one gets against the other. So true. So priming position, keep them liking each other. Great. And so what are the what are your like here's some of my favorite lines at the close, right? That I just help because sometimes you just gotta help people get over the line. Diego, so what you're telling me for ten thousand dollars, you're prepared to put your life on hold. That's right. Well, I frankly believe that you're worth more than ten thousand dollars, Diego. My suggestion is Give me the 10, that cloud of uncertainty disappears tomorrow and you'll be thanking me in a few weeks' time, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Have you got any little one-liners? That yeah, people I, I, I've got something that I've used recently, actually, because it's a, it's the market is going up, right? Or it's been going up for a long time in our, lo- in our location. And, and buyers say, man, that's a record price. Uh, that will be a record price. We don't want to pay more than anyone else. And I always say today's price, today's record price is going to be tomorrow's market price. So yeah, a million dollar might be a record for this house, but I'll tell you what, tomorrow is going to be the benchmark and in a month it's going to be a million and fifty. So do you want to be the million and fifty in a month or you want to pay today a million and call it quits and be out of the market? Because I've been seeing you for months. I know your dog's name. I know your daughter's name. And I like your family, but really you should gain your weekends. Go back fishing or barbecuing. You don't want to see me every weekend, right? Just make it a bit of a joke, but... Today's record price is tomorrow's market price. Those are my words. Good. Some closing lines, priming position, keep everyone liking each other. And then hopefully you'll never have those little gaps that are frustrating when you can't close them. That's right. You go and close them. And look, I say this every week, but if you like this podcast, please share it, like it, tell a friend. Uh, we'll give you your money back if you're not happy, but we'd like to spread the word uh, the, the word out there, right, Davis? So thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, 
we'll do this in person. Who knows? 2023, 2024, you might even have airs by that point. Who knows, Davis? And cut to the chase. Love your work, Diego. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.